All right, well, I always knew Jerry Harvey was a good bloke, <laughs> right? I've always liked Jerry Harvey's style. I'm a great fan of Katie Page as well. I think they're two outstanding Australians, built a fantastic company. I've always liked him because I love plain speaking, but uh, he had some comments recently in the media that I thought was spot on about sort of the growth and over-governance, that we're, we're loading our companies up and making it harder for them to compete when they've already got things like these high power prices. But he did an interview today with Chris Kenny, and I tell you what, I was watching bits of it at home, cheering like <laughs> a mad woman, because I thought, thank God not all of our senior business people in this country are so neutered they can't speak up and speak their mind. I want to play a little grab of what he had to say because I think it, uh, it sums it up very, very well. People have agendas, and these people that have got these agendas are minority groups with a, a voice way bigger than what they are. So you get a mob like the Australian Shareholders Association. Sounds important. Well, uh, how many shareholders um, uh, are they representing? Oh, less than 1% of most companies. Oh, maybe only 0.1% of a lot of companies. So they get up there and they want to say. And they, they, have, a, they have an agenda that's just crazy. And, and when I have a go at them, then I'm a problem because I'm having a go at somebody that has, has found someone like me that's a villain. And here I am thinking, I'm not a villain, I'm doing the right thing by all my shareholders. Yes, I do believe in diversity. Yes, I do believe in climate control. Yes, I do believe in the environment, all of these things. But it doesn't mean that I believe in all of those things so that I can make a lower profit and ruin my company. So I've got to do all of those things. What they want me to do is forget about the profit, forget about the company, tick all the boxes. So if they keep that up, they'll have companies ticking all the boxes and all the people that are in the super funds, all of us out there, will all go broke with the super fund because the super fund's not properly looking after our money. Now, I've written about this. Yeah. I've talked about it in editorials. It's the, it's the new push for the left, right? People aren't in unions anymore. 15, sub-15% 15 of, of private workforce are in unions. So the way they get around it is to come with the weight of the Superfund investment power to say to you, Rowan Dean, Inc., I don't care what you make, I don't care what your profit is, I don't care who your employers are, but you'll do this, this and this on issues like climate change, gay marriage, whatever, whatever, even if it means your business goes out the back door. And Jerry Harvey's saying, enough. Absolutely. Enough. And if you want, look no further than the fact that one of the most important uh, or larger super funds is headed up by Greg Combe, the bloke who thought he was going to be the Prime Minister, you know, after Rudd and Gillard, uh, the Labor Prime Minister. Uh, hardcore climate, Labor, union official fronting the super funds. All the super funds are run by the unions, or the very large ones are. You're right, the membership in the unions are declining, so they snaffle them up via the, via the superannuation system. Rivers of gold. Jerry Harvey is 100% correct. The, if your business is not focused predominantly on your business's customers mm -hmm. and uh, the shareholders, you will sink down because other people will be better than you. Uh, when I was in, in, in uh, you know, a multinational corporation, I sat there completely, b uh, completely b uh, bamboozled by the fact that the most meetings were spent sitting around working out how to tick those boxes that Jerry was talking about. Oh, we've got to have a this, we've got to have a that, we've got to do this. Why? It's got nothing to do with our business. Oh, but it's got, it looks good. And then the reason why, Peter, is the CEOs stay 18 months in one company. They leave that company and they go, oh, look, I ticked all these boxes. I had a diversity meeting. I had gender training. You know, maybe we paid for a transgender person to have an operation. Who knows? Whatever it is, it allows them to tick all the left-wing identity boxes and move on to the next job. But what happens is gradually these companies just sink lower and lower because they're not focused on their primary capitalist objective of making money and decent products to satisfy their customers and satisfy their shareholders. And you're absolutely right. People should be cheering from the rafters for Jerry Harvey. But you look across corporate Australia, it's a wasteland mm. in those companies. There aren't, the, there aren't those great entrepreneurial characters that you used to get like Jerry Harvey. Well, I was very pleased to say I read something in the papers today. Jerry Harvey turns 80 in not so many weeks away and he made it very clear he is not retiring. He's there for the long haul. So here, here to Jerry Harvey.